to my kitchen today I'm going to share with you favorites of uh, September for me so I look through everything it's uh, mostly food and things you use in the kitchen but I do have uh, three beauty things and some other stuff so let's get into it um, yes let's start so I uh, wanted to start with the hair product and that's a uh, tresemme I would think we that's how we say it it's a keratin smooth five benefits one system shine serum so it does work for shine I really really like it but it what it also really really works well it's for brushing my daughter's hair um, her hair is uh, pretty thin and long and it's really hard to brush when we put this on it doesn't get greasy but lets me brush it without too many tears so this is definitely my favorite right now when we back to school and we actually trying to brush the hair every day it helps a lot now this is another thing um deodorant uh secret i don't know i tried a lot and this one is the only one which actually uh, works let's say so you basically don't smell and it works for me and works for my mom as well so usually I collect some of those and when I go back to Poland I take them with me for my mom and this is the se the secret one the gel the only the gel one all the ones with the cream or whatever else it would be didn't work only the gel one works for me and they have different scents I like all of them really so yeah my favorite as well I thought I will let you know and then the other one which I found out this summer it's clearly brighter skin active Garnier daily moisturizer yeah what I like about it is smells very nice doesn't leave you greasy so I like it doesn't make my eyes water because I have a problem when I put a moisturizer if it gets in my eyes I keep crying that's my puppy barking um, playing with the cats and what I like about it as well it has SPF 30 which is really handy so very nice smell I don't know even I don't want to uh, right now put it on me but a little bit floral but not too heavy delicate I uh, for me I have to have a scent in my in my moisturizer so that's me for you but really like it this is uh, definitely my favorite now something totally out of different side it's a candle which i'm burning through september it is a green apple i did actually pick it up for the jar i have my snack jars as you can see i had some vanilla and some other ones before and uh, i use my uh, for for my snacks yeah i have my nuts in them and i was missing the third one so i went to um, this one i bought where did i buy it superstore yes and i picked it up to get a jar but i didn't realize how nice autumny is that the word autumny the green apple uh scented candle will work so i'm actually burning it every day so uh, two reasons i love it and i want the jar so here you go all right what else so let's look at the food i guess we'll start with the food my favorite over the summer actually and I thought they didn't have it anymore. I bought it at Costco and it is the ultimate veggie burger. I'm, uh, I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian, but I do like some veggie burger. What can you do? So I discovered them when I uh, um, had a problem with my cholesterol and I was trying to eliminate all the meat and as much cholesterol, cholesterol as I can and because this one has zero cholesterol. But also because I'm on the low carb diet, if you didn't know, yes, I'm on low carb diet. This one for one burger, it's seven grams of carbs minus three grams of fiber because I count net carbs. That is a good burger with low carbohydrates. So that is my favorite. Then Catalin's and Isabella's favorite. Let's find a place to put it so it doesn't bother us too much. Catalin's and Isabella's favorite. Catalin is my husband. I uh, I do forget sometimes that not all of you guys are the ones who are watching our vlogs and I just say like everyone knows me because I feel like I know you. That's why. So anyhow, my husband Catalin loves those guys. Those are profit rolls filled with uh, cream and usually they say to defrost them but my family doesn't. They just take them in a bowl and just eat them like uh, ice cream in a cake. So delicious i used to like them well no more low carb in this one if i would eat one 
one, no, four pieces. Four pieces. Well, actually, it's not the end of the world, you guys. So four pieces have 10 grams of carbs, which, uh, yeah, it's not bad, but it has almost 200 calories for four pieces. They are not too big if you look at the pictures, but they are delicious. Okay, so this is Kathleen's and Isabella's favorite. Uh, do we have anything Sebastian's favorite? Not from food. Oh, no. Not really, we don't have. I need to work on this one for the next favorites, you guys. But I would have if I had his water bottle because it's his favorite as well. Those are water bottles I picked up um, on, uh, on Amazon. And by the way, everything, whatever I can have a link to, because most of those things, well, not the food, but most of the things uh, I bought on Amazon. So I will uh, put link to my favorite things in the description box but these are bottles i bought for kids for water this is isabella sebastian has a little bit bigger one black and that's his favorite they love it uh, in the morning i will put water and i will put few cubes of ice as well inside and the water stays cool until they come back home well sebastian actually drinks his well isabella has a hard time doing it unfortunately but bottles amazing the other so we kind of moved suddenly to gadgets or no because i wanted something sebastian's and i still didn't have it well sorry but with that being said let's stick to the food so my favorite which i discovered this month i used to buy almonds from costco the blue diamond ones in the small packages roasted and and salted until i discovered this the price is better. This huge jar, which is uh, more than a kilo, kilo and uh, 130 grams, it's $16 at uh, Walmart. This is not a bad price, but what's important about it, I actually like the nuts more than the Blue Diamond ones. What can you do? So that's my new favorite, and it's going to be going in my every uh, Walmart shopping, I'm pretty sure. Well, we, as you can see, that is my empty as well all right another nuts which are from costco also not a bad price for the same amount oh, it's one kilo 13 this is eight dollars at uh, at costco peanuts roasted and salted they are delicious i have to say i like the almonds a little bit more yes i have to say but they have my mood so uh Kathleen and isabella and sebastian like to have vanilla ice cream sprinkled with peanuts those salty peanuts and then with some caramel sauce on top that's their ultimate dessert sounds good i i, I have to say yeah so we're going to another favorite which i probably mentioned already but it's still my favorite this is what i'm drinking my coffee you guys and if you watch my vlogs you know I drink a lot of coffee. So this one is the creamy cashew unsweetened milk. I either buy vanilla or regular one. I like both. So whatever I find I'm picking up, I'm usually price matching it, but it is delicious. I don't know why I'm not a big fan of almond milk. It just, I don't know, something in the taste. I love almonds, but just not the milk. I do not know why, but this one works perfectly. I add a splash of light cream after just to make it a little bit more milky and the coffee is amazing. So I thought I will, I will tell you about this one because that's my favorite as well. And now another one, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned, and if not, you saw me in my vlogs, uh, it's my favorite chocolate. Again, because I'm low carb, this one has, um, it's sweetened with erythritol, right? So 14 gra gram grams of carbohydrates with six of fiber and six of er erythritol, which means per one bar, you have only two grams of carbs, which is pretty amazing. And then 115 calories in it. So I usually eat one bar like this. It's my evening treat with some nuts. So definitely still favorite. Didn't get bored yet. Having it every day. Almost. Yeah, every day. Let's be honest. Every day. <laughs> All right. So a little bit of gadgets now then. This is a new gadget. Uh, Amazon. N new? Well, I, I did pick it up in, during summer. I'm thinking summer in August. And this is the rapid veggie cooker. And you guys, you put water, okay, you probably know about it, but for me it was new. You put water until the line, you put the tray, you put veggies, I put either broccoli or I put carrots, I put broccoli, I put, put cauliflower, excuse my kids playing upstairs, I probably, <laughs> you can hear. And, uh, and then you steam it, they say for um, 
uh, for two and a half minutes. I'm usually doing it three and a half, four because we like it a little bit more soft. But it's just a moment. I usually have to do it twice because it's not too big, but it's like while I'm cooking something else, the veggies are getting done in the microwave. I usually will put veggies, spray them with a little bit of coconut oil and sprinkle with a little bit of salt. And then I steam it. Delicious. So my steamer, it's amazing. So we love that. And another gadget, well, it's not a gadget. It was Catalin's birthday present. If you watch the vlogs, you know, it is a sous vide machine. We got it off of Amazon and I didn't know really what it is or how to use it until he said he wants it for the birthday, for his birthday, for the birthday, sorry, for his birthday. And then right now I love it. I made steaks in it. Uh, right now the latest thing is the pork, like a pork um, loin. I made it twice already. Once I overdid it a little bit, but yesterday I made it again and it's delicious when it's cold. It's like cold cuts. You don't have to worry about it. I don't know. And you know, I, I picked up a, a piece of meat like yesterday at Sobeys, $8 minus $3. It was some sale. So $5 per huge piece of meat, which from this came out delicious. So this is definitely my favorite and I'm working still on how to use it because it's a new thing still, but I'm pretty sure, sure I will. Uh... Oh my goodness. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I will find more uses for it. But for now, that's what it is. And that's a new gadget in the kitchen, which is Kathleen's present. But uh, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of uh, very happy with it. Now, I will uh, right now pick up the camera and I'll show you two other things, which if you watch my vlogs, you know are my favorites. But I wanted to include them because I use it every day. Well, this one every other day, but the other one it's every day. So I really want to show you. And then I also would like to show you uh, my... Uh, new favorite animal lately, which again, if you watch my vlogs, you know, and then I don't know why am I sneezing? Hopefully I'm not getting sick because Isabella is sick lately. Alrighty, you guys. So let me show you those two um, pieces of equipment, which I love this month and actually this summer and probably will love for much longer than that. And then I will also show you my uh, favorite animal and then I think that's going to be it. So let's have a look. This is my pressure cooker, which I will send by the way, but I love it and I really use it a lot. I do the most things what I do from it is uh, eggs, um, rice, pasta, soups and stews. But to be honest, rice and eggs, I think is the most, uh, the most uh, time I use it for. And now the other gadget is my air fryer, you guys. So again, I got sent, I did have one before uh, air fryer and I was using it, but this one every day, lunches for kids, dinners, I'm toasting bread, I'm uh, making uh, chicken nuggets, I will uh, make burgers. Every single day I will figure out something to do with it. It's really, really amazing and definitely in my favorite. So that's my Air fryer. And this is my, my dear friends, my favorite animal in the whole world. This is Lilu and this is our new puppy. And if you're watching our vlogs, you definitely saw her. <laughs> so uh, she's, uh, I think, what are you now? Nine weeks? You're nine weeks old. Yeah, she's nine weeks old and she's growing and she's part of our family and definitely a favorite animal in the whole world. And I think I have to let her go. Can we say bye? Thank you so much for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you on board and we will see you in the next video, which should be anytime soon. Thank you.